hello guys i am back from another video and today we talk about prince of wrath so in the last year Deku, well well after we um well explored how izuku came to be well after well izuku said that he wanted to become a hero well he goes to the human world and decides to live in an apartment owned by katsuki well katsuki mitsuki or mitsuki katsuki so after he, after izuku does that he goes to sleep so yeah so let's talk about what happens next so izuku starts well going to the mall so he can get some well tracksuits and well some normal clothing because well the only piece of clothing that he has is well what he's wearing right now when he came to well to the human world which is just a well well, it's pretty formal. It's basically like a, um, well, a tuxedo. A, like, a tuxedo that's color red with, well, um, gold accents. That's what it is. Everybody's looking at him, thinking that's, like, well, pretty rich. But Izuku, well, he is rich because of his father being a, well, well, the Prince of Hell. Or at least one of the Princes of Hell. But he isn't that really rich. I mean, he does well. Um, sometimes get um well paid money by well, a uh, really good pay by well by working with well Mammon, aka the Demon of Greed, and also one of Izuku's well uncles. So yeah, Izuku pretty much pays them pretty um well, um well pretty much a lot. After getting all of his clothes, he starts going off to, well, to the, well, to the apartment as he's, well, he starts getting ready for the entrance exam for UA. Izuku says this, <sighs> I can't wait to become a hero. I'm gonna show everybody that I can truly become a hero. And maybe I can take down some angels as well. But father said that they're pretty powerful. But Izuku shakes his head as Izuku says to himself, No, they're not really strong. <laughs> I have a I have a really powerful demonic magic. My power to create any type of weapons that I desire. As he starts creating a halberd made from well, the demonic magic that he uses. Izuku says this. <laughs> Anybody that tries to fight me Well, they're gonna be pummeled to the freaking ground. So, yeah. So, after that, he starts going to sleep as it's the next day where they're gonna be doing the Entrix exam. I meant Entrix entrance exam. So, wait for a second. So, Izuku starts changing his clothes after he taking a bath. He starts going off to, well, to the Entrix exam. So, when Izuku arrived, this, well, the UA, well, building was, well, pretty packed. As in packed, I mean, there's almost no space for, well, movement. Izuku says this, I'm probably gonna get claustrophobia from this. As Izuku sees a man with, well, well, blonde hair and some sort of speaker mixed with a collar on his neck. As he says this, nice to meet ya, the name's present Mike. So, we're gonna be starting off with the written exam, so if you go to that room over there, well, well, start doing it. Because, well, the fun part is not yet here. This is just the boring part, I guess I can call it, I guess. So, Izuku starts going off as Izuku starts, well, um, well, doing the written exam. Izuku was pretty smart because while well, Izuku was tutored by well by Astaroth and if you don't know who's Astaroth he's a demon of well knowledge it's been a long time since I did my well demonology uh, if you want to correct me in the comments well um just comment down below and also before I can well um well do the story again as in again I mean um start the story again um pick a ship for the for this what if like 
any ship at least like like for example like for say Bakugo or something or female Todoroki okay good so after Izuku does the well well the written exam Izuku starts going off and gets ready for the practical exam so wait for a second oh President Mike starts basically explaining, well, what are, well, the robots in the, well, in the presentation are. Izuku is basically learning from this, but Izuku is starting to get annoyed by this girl, well, behind him. This girl seems to be, well, impatient, a bit ignorant, and not only that, a seriously prideful. Izuku can sense pride because, well, he is a, a demon prince. And because of that, well... Izuku is starting to, well, get pissed off. Because, well, he, she is, well, being a bit too prideful. Izuku represents wrath, so... Izuku, well, kind of mixes with it a little bit. Because wrath and, well, pride can are kind of like, um, well, a good mix, I guess I can call it. Izuku doesn't like it. His pride, I meant her pride. Bakugo, and yes, that girl is Bakugo. She starts becoming a little bit madder and madder. She says this a little bit out loud. <sighs> Hurry up, you stupid old man. I just want to fight some robots already so I can become the number one hero. Izuku hears it as Izuku says this to himself. Really? You want to become the number one hero? Huh. <laughs> you really think that you can ever become a number one hero just because you're... Well... You're... How do I say it? Pretty powerful in the court department. But you're not strong, well... Emotionally. Because, well, your emotions... They're quite... Well, how do I say it? Um, wait for a second. Your emotions are just mostly about pride. Izuku starts to get a little bit madder a little bit. Well, uh, still a little bit madder, I guess. <laughs> but before, well, things can escalate. Well, a boy with blue hair, blue eyes... And also seeming to wear glasses says this. I'm completely disappointed in UA for this. As he shows a pamphlet showing, well, the three robots. But only, well, three. As he says this. Why is there four robots instead of three? I'm really disappointed in UA. Are you trying to trick us or something? As Izuku says this. Can you at least shut up? Besides, that pamphlet seems to be outdated, I guess. As, well, the kid says this. Why did you say that? And besides, if it is outdated, why does it say, well, this date? <laughs> Izuku says this. <sighs> Just shut the fuck up. As, when he hears that, he says this. How insulting! Uh, how did... As he just basically just um, stops and basically just sits back down. Izuku also sits back down as, well, President Mike starts explaining what is this, well, this robot, the Zero Pointer. Appa apparently, he says that it's, well, not really worth any points. And it's also advised to, well, not fight it. Izuku's, well, um, wants to fight it just because, well... If it's powerful, well, Izuku wants to fight it. Anything that's powerful or so-called powerful than him, he wants to fight it. So, yeah. So, everybody starts going into their positions as Izuku summons out his, well, six golden dusted wings. Or, um, dusted gold wings. Everybody sees it as they say this. Whoa, his wings look like they're actually made out of gold. Izuku starts flying off as President Mike says this. Three, two, go! As everybody starts going off 
into their well separate directions and started taking down several of these well one two and three pointers izuku he starts creating massive well machine guns as the weapon starts um well start destroying the rest of these zero pointers izuku creates gauntlets as these two gauntlets start well well started becoming well a little bit well how do i say it dangerous because they started growing out these well knife like ends at um well at the end of the fist izuku starts well pummeling all of these well zero pointers i meant zero pointers i meant um well three pointers well for well bakugo she starts using her explosions izuku says this huh really interesting quirk but it's not strong as mine izuku just says that um well out loud but well izuku just lies a little bit because well it's not technically a quirk it's more like well magic so izuku starts creating more and more guns as izuku creates well well missiles these missiles start well ringing out as they started well homing on every single robot in the well in the well practical exam basically making them all well disappear after doing that izuku decides to well sit on well sit on one of the buildings the teachers were looking at izuku thinking in their minds huh he's quite a powerful quirk user as one of them being well wait for a second nezu says this interesting he has a similar quirk to miss momo yayorozu right as aizawa says this yeah kind of he seems to be well only have the ability to create weapons though as um well wait for a second midnight says this yeah he seems to be only able to create weapons as izuku well while resting izuku starts well well getting a well like one of those like instant um well instant noodle um cups that you would see in like well convenience stores or at least in the convenience stores in the philippines because well we would always get we would always like find these like um instant noodle cups which i would definitely eat <laughs> because i am a fat ass anyway so izuku um basically creates well um creates a little bit of fire thanks to his well magic and starts heating his thermos and basically starts pouring the well the hot water into the cup noodle and basically puts it um well out to cook as an out to cook i mean he puts it on top of well some sort of well ledge as izuku while resting the people there were basically well in shock or just weirded out as a weirded out i mean just why <laughs> like one of them says this why is he just sitting down there and did he just make cup noodles as midnight says this i'm guessing he's um well a bit tired as mid not midnight i meant well all might says this yeah he also seems to be wait what is he doing he starts well getting a tea bag and starts putting it into the rest of the hot water in his thermos izuku swirls a little bit as it turns into tea as izuku starts drinking it as all might says this he's drinking tea as nezu says this interesting now how about this he he opens some sort of well compartment in the in the desk as he activates the zero pointer button which summons out the zero pointer so izuku doesn't notice it at first as izuku basically just says this all right guess i'll get my cup noodle as the noodles basically get spilled by some sort of well quake as izuku says this god dang it 
So, who the heck was Azuku sees the zero pointer as well? Glowing, one eyed stare. Like, looking into, well, Izuku's soul. Izuku says this. Now, so you must be the zero pointer. Well then, let's have some fun. So, Izuku creates a gigantic hammer. Like, like, just imagine like Harley Quinn's hammer, but bigger. So, he reels back as he basically just slams it down onto the zero pointer, instantly destroying it. Wait for a second. But he also saves, well, a girl from being crushed by the zero pointer. When Izuku, after, well, um, Putting back his well, or at least um, well, reabsorbing his well magic hammer back into himself. Izuku sees a girl that was almost about to be crushed by the zero pointer until Izuku just stepped in. Izuku flows down. Izuku says this. So, who are you exactly? As she says this, wait, am I not dead? Oh, thank God! <sighs> um, um, thank you. Um, what's your name? Izuku says this. Call me Izuku Arei. And if you don't know, Arei is the Latin word for, well, wrath. As, well, well, the girl says this. Um, can you help me? My leg, like, it seems to be, well, injured. Ow. Izuku says this. Guess I'll help you out. So, Izuku starts bridal style carrying her. As she says this, um, you don't really need to do it. Izuku says this, don't worry. And besides, why? Um, well, I'll oh, just wait for a second again. I meant, um, Izuku says this. And besides, you are injured, so, and I'm also becoming a hero, so it's a win win, I guess. As she says this, um, yeah. So, Izuku strikes off a, well, conversation. So, what's your name? As the girl says this, my name is Fiumi. I'm the daughter of, well, well, I'm the daughter of Endeavor. Izuku says this, wait, the number two hero? So, I'm guessing your brother's also here. As she says this, yes, my brother Todoroki. As Izuku says this, why? Why are you sad? As says this, well, Todoroki died many years ago. Izuku says this. Wait, what? As she says this, yeah. Todoroki apparently died from, well, retraining. As Izuku says this. Oh, I'm really sorry that I... As she says this, don't, don't worry. It's not really, well, that important. As Izuku says this. Anyway, uh, that was a bit awkward. As she says this, no, that wasn't awkward, I guess. It's actually just, well, helped me a little bit. Izuku says this, anyway, we're here. <laughs> so, Izuku um, brought her to, well, to the nurse's office as, well, the nurse, I can't remember her name, for God's sakes, because it's been a long time since I introduced this character. It's basically the superhero nurse. Um, um, something, something. So, so after bringing her to, well, the, well, to the, one of the beds, Izuku says this, so, um, are you gonna be okay? As Fuyumi says, yeah, it's just a little sprain. So, after leaving the, well, the entrance exam, it's, well, finally over. So, Izuku starts going back to the apartment as it's been, well, a few, well, um, weeks. As he gets a letter in the mail saying that he's going to become, well, as it become, I meant, um, well, I meant, um, he's going to be going to UA. And apparently he's going to be going to Class 1A. As Izuku says this, wait, I'm going to be going to UA? Ah, I knew it. <laughs> Uh, I think it was from the, well, I think it's because I just saved that girl. 
that I gotten so many points. Izuku thinks his mind. As Izuku sees a hologram, as the hologram is just a hologram of All Might. All Might starts saying what he just said in the anime as he says this. So, I hope you enjoy your time in UA. So, welcome to My Hero Academia. So, as the, well, the, well, wait for a second. The letter is supposed to explode, or at least about to explode, but Izuku just throws it away as it explodes and, well, scares some of the, well, back alley cats. As Izuku says this, oh, he actually wasn't angry. So, Izuku's, well, pretty tired. As Izuku says this, uh, 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 I'm actually gonna become a hero. <laughs> so, Izuku goes onto the bed, takes off his well socks, and goes to sleep. So, before you leave, guys, I still want all of you to pick a ship for Izuku, like. There's literally any ship, okay? Uh, and by the way, for what for the guy that said like um well make it a harem, well actually yeah maybe it should be a harem. <laughs> so um yeah so I hope you liked the video. Comment and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.